Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to um, fill your terraces with furniture and um, people and make the realist, the, your rendering more realistic using really quickly and easy way to do it instead of just uh, copying some furniture and then placing them on X and Y and then on Z and then wondering whether I've uh, placed it properly, whether it's flying or not. I'm going to show you how to solve this problem and uh, when you have a huge building or many buildings, how can, do it, how can you do this really fast? So, the, the tr trick is to use Object Painter, which is part of the Soulborn scripts. This is the menu of the Object Painter. First, uh, firstly here, we should add the um, surface where we want to populate the furniture. I'm going to select the all slabs. I've attached them as one object, but you can attach many objects as well. It's not, it's not needed to be one attached. I did it for a fast, for a fast for me. So add it here, all slabs. Then you can, you have to choose um, the furniture that you want to populate. I've prepared this one here and I would recommend you to you to make them proxy. Um, I'll show you later on why. Uh, you could also use groups, but it's kind of tricky. So to be sure that there is not going to be problems, create, uh, make them into a single proxy, even if you have two furniture or a group of furniture, three of them. So I will select them and add it to the this list here paint width it's really it's important to uh, choose instance here so they're going to be sp uh, scattered as instances this, this is going to save you RAM memory and another thing to keep eye on it is that um, all of the pivots needs to be at the bottom I prefer bottom middle bottom center bottom middle of the object or of the group. Then in the random variation I would remove the scale because I want to keep the consistent size of the furniture here, the rotation, I would keep it. And the tool I will choose place. Then I'll go to my building and to this terrace and start painting them. You can just press and it's rotated, it's put exactly on this slab. If you have a case like this, you can just con uh, press Ctrl and Z and cancel it. And then you can click again if you don't like what kind of furniture it's going to be placed because uh, the script is using all of these randomly, uh, which is cool because you're not going to have the same copy paste group on all of terraces from top to the bottom or, and you, you can have variety as in real life on the terraces uh, so you can place here and if you don't like it just cancel uh, just control and z and let's here okay let's say i like it here and there um, then i'll go to my other terrace over here like this and then and back or or here to the lowest terrace even through the railing you can press it because I've used, uh, I've, I've decided to use only this surface. You can cancel the painting, the paint now, and if you need to adjust a bit, you can rotate it like this. But this is really small um, adjustment refinement. The major, the majority of the work, it's done. If you select all instances, you can see that these and these are all instances like the source that we used. So if you decide to change materials, um, you can select them instantly. And if I select also the slabs and isolate them and go on the side, 
you can see that they're exactly here on the bottom. They're not flying or not partially inside the slab or something. Then another cool uh, thing that you can add detail, you can add to the terraces while I'm, I have selected here the same surface. I can then choose a few people and then add it to the list here. It's going to be refreshed. Again, I don't want to be scaled because the people otherwise are going to be strange. And again, I can paint a few people over there. Okay, say this girl. Here are this guy, and let's see, he's here. Okay, I don't like this one, I can cancel it. Yeah, great, this position, I like it. And then really quickly, I can populate them without any issues. Further on, on this logic, you can put some planters or some other details. And if you would like to, to use groups anyway, uh, let's say I was select this group. The problem that you could have is I've selected the group and then on the same surface. Uh, let me go from the other side because here it's already crowded and painted here. It goes, it takes the middle of the group. In order to solve this problem, you need to go to the group and then change the pivot to the bottom here like this. The shortcut for changing pivot is um, insert the insert button of the mouse of the keyboard. Then I would refresh it again, go to the building and paint again and everything is solved. But sometimes it's still kind of tricky using uh, the groups. Uh, so my recommendation is just to make your, if you have two or three parts, to make them in a single proxy. Or if you have a group of people to, to just make a proxy of them. If you enjoyed anything in the video, then drop a like and a big thank you to everyone who does. If you haven't subscribed yet, click below and join us. We have some great videos coming up that you don't want to miss. Thank you for watching and I see you in the next video.